the Democrat Party officially launching a war on babies. They have voted to kill babies who survive an abortion. Remember just a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about the New York abortion law and how it was extreme. And a whole bunch of you were like, okay, Sarah, maybe it is a fully formed baby in the womb, but it hasn't actually popped out yet. So it's not really infanticide. Well, what's your defense now, kids? Well, Elizabeth Warren said that they were just defending my reproductive rights as a woman and the government shouldn't have control over my body. All right, Susan, sit down. You're gonna learn something today. The actual text from the Born Alive bill that none of you lazy people bothered to read says it will amend the law to now explicitly prohibit a healthcare practitioner, that's a doctor, for those of you who may be a little slow on the uptake, from failing to exercise the proper degree of care in the case of a child who survives an abortion or an attempted abortion. This isn't hard, people. Democrats now can't even acknowledge that a baby who is born alive after an abortion has the same basic human rights that you and I do. You know, because we were lucky enough to have mom who didn't want to flush us down the toilet at birth. The same people who will have you believe that the evil GOP doesn't believe in basic human rights because they, like, believe in border security and stuff are refusing to acknowledge that once a baby is born, it's a person and not, like, a cantaloupe. And before you say, well, not all Democrats think that way, consider this. Every single one of the 2020 Democratic presidential candidates currently in the Senate all voted to reject this law. Every single one of them. There is no defense for this. It is pure evil. And we can talk about free trade and tax policy and even abortion all day long. But if we can't agree that an infant who is born alive should be kept alive, none of the rest of that stuff matters. So that stuff matters. So please, please Democrats, have an honest conversation with yourselves. Ask yourselves, am I going to be complicit in this rejection of life or am I going to stand up and finally say enough is enough? Because whatever you choose, one day you're going to have to answer for all of it.